Today we are naming the best Mexican restaurant in Stone Oak and San Antonio. And as you've already probably guessed, it's El Mirasol. All right, if you've ever wanted to know what the best Mexican restaurant in Stone Oak is, El Mirasol, yep. a staple of San Antonio for over 20 years. Yeah, almost over 22 years plus. Uh, and the family's been in the business for since like 1979. Wow, what a reputation they have, what great service and, yeah. and quality. Yeah, basically look, if you're, you, you're probably looking for a great Mexican restaurant in San Antonio, we live right around the corner from there, so we thought it was appropriate. We just tell you why El Mirasol is the absolute best Mexican restaurant in Stone Oak, and you need to go there now if you can even get a table. Right, and yeah, every night, pretty much there's cars everywhere, there's people circling the parking lot looking for a parking space, and on the weekends, forget about it. Yeah, so the number one reason, the ambiance. That place, going there, date night, guys night out, girls night out, going with your folks, go with your kids, it's a winner either way. Right, we've got the indoor gorgeous huge area and they've got that whole outside patio that sits right on hole number one of the south course at the Sonterra Country Club. Yep, so ambiance is huge. So if you wanna to go to a place that's a lot of fun, a lot of energy uh, and great food, El Mirasol, Stone Oak is the place. Give us another reason why you should why they should go there. Well, okay, you have to understand that San Antonio restaurants, if they make it, it's because they have amazing food. Amazing food, amazing food, amazing food. This restaurant has amazing food. Yeah. From their light seafood dishes to their fajitas to their appetizers yeah. to their Tra yeah, traditional Mexican meals. For right. Sure. And not not super heavy. So they're not huge plates that you can barely finish. It's just the right amount of food. Mm -hmm. Lots of creamy, tangy sauces that go with different dishes and different flavors. Yeah. But let's let's be let's be real. Yes. Right? Why do people really go to El Mir? They go there for the chispas. Oof. The chispas is their version of the skinny margarita. You only need two. Really, <laughs> one and should, a half. You one. should have one. One. You should have one. Yeah. But um, amazing drinks. Uh, I personally love the frozen strawberry margarita. For some reason, that's my favorite. I don't know. I feel like it packs a little more punch. Uh, it is a little more sugary, but overall the drinks are phenomenal. The service is phenomenal. Some of the waiters like Irasmo, he's been there for years. Yep. I honestly can't remember the first time we met. It's probably been eight to 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the sta there's staples there, right? Some of the waiters and the, and the servers and some of the managers, they're just there forever. And that's how you, you can tell also it's a well-run company. People like being there. Uh, we recommend highly that you tip very well there. They will take care of you in the long run. They are the firm believer of taking care of yep. their clients, the good clients like like Chris and I that have been going there for, I don't know, 15, yeah. 20 years. Really, so we have the ambiance, we have the food, we have the drinks and the service. We talked about that, right. how great the service I mean, you don't really need much else, yeah. but location is huge. It's, yep. we're, we're in real estate full time, location, location, location. So right inside 1604, just, east of Blanco Road, but west of Stone Oak yep. since El Mirasol. This is their new location. They moved there from the Blanco Road Churchill Estates area uh, in 2020, late 2020. So they've only been there uh, a year and some change. Yeah, it hasn't been long. Just a year long. and some change. What do we eat today? So we had their most popular enchilada plate, yep. which was the enchilada Soluna. And it's Soluna because that that name is the name of the first restaurant they had uh, over on Broadway and Sunset. I believe so. Um, and so that's a, an amazing restaurant too. Same family, the Cavillos are running that restaurant and Enchilada Soluna. That was our that was our main course, well one of our main courses. We, we had a great appetizer. appetizer. We started off with the guacamole ribeye, which we like guacamole and we like ribeye. Right. And you put those two together with some salsa, Oh my gosh, yeah. so Pico, right? It was right, Pico. Pico. But um, exquisite, exquisite. Yeah. So we started off with the uh, guacamole ribeye. Their queso is unbelievable too. Yeah. And then we, for the healthier side, for the lighter side, Steve had mentioned the, um, 
the salmon, the, the spinach salmon salad, amazing. Right, yeah. so just a, a perfectly grilled salmon, very tasty, very light. It's it's one of their most popular dishes anyway. Yep. Um, My wife's favorite, that's what she gets every is time. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. So, um, just a very, very tasty dish. It just rounded it out perfectly. Lots of options though. They have soups, they have tacos, they have uh, the fajita style plates. Yep. Uh, lots of enchilada dishes uh, and uh, a la carte and items and as well. some seafood items as well. And then we had to end it with some dessert. Oh, man. Um, their most popular uh, dessert dish is maybe the, their only one actually. No, they, they have the tres leches and they have some other okay. stuff. Yeah. See, I've, I, uh, I'm, so full. Leches, yeah. I'm so full every time I eat there <laughs> from chispas, I mean from food, <laughs> that uh, I don't order any dessert. He's in a sugar coma right now. But we had the chudos with the um, ice, the ice cream. cream. Amazing, great way to finish off for kids and for adults alike. Yeah, so yeah. I'm super stuffed. I've never been more uncomfortable yet satisfied filming anything than I am right now. We ate so much. Yeah. It was so good. We love the staff, the hospitality. They're welcoming every time. Um, I've never seen anything crazy happen there. There's, yeah. There's, it's always it's a great restaurant. Good. Everyone's yeah. in a good mood. It's run right. So so listen, you're in San Antonio, you either live here or you're coming here and you, you're, you're searching for the best restaurant or the best Mexican restaurant. We're gonna tell you in Stone Oak, in that area, the north side of town, if you want the best Mexican restaurant, El Mirasol is it. Now, down the road, down on Military in the Alan Shopping Center is the other El Mirasol. So if you can't make it to the Stone Oak location, go over there to the Alan Center yeah. off Northwest Military and Horsebuck Park Parkway. Park 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 so, um, and their other location, Soluna on Broadway and, yep. and Sunset. Yeah. So we're gonna have to give it a rating. Um, we give them out in sombreros. So Steve, tell it to us for real. I'm going 9.2 sombreros. Okay. He gets a that's big. That's big because. Look guys, 20 years I've been going there. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I won't go somewhere for 20 years unless it's really that good. Yeah. It's 9.2. Yeah. So food, service, drinks, um, ambiance, it's got it all. Yeah. It's really hard to do a 10. It, here's the only reason why it's not a 10 for me. It's because sometimes parking's terrible and you have to wait. Yes. And I'm a, I'm a big baby. I, I don't want to wait <laughs> and I don't want to look for parking. Yeah. And so that's so, it. Other, so other than that, it's a perfect. Agreed. Time. If it was a table anytime, I'd give it a 10. But I'm going to give it 9.4 sombreros. 9.4 sombreros. So I we're averaging nine. out at 9.3 sombreros for El Mira Sol on 16.04 near Blanco and Stone Oak. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So Chris and Steve Galvan, we are real estate agents here in San Antonio with the Twin Brother Property Group. Thank you for watching and please like, please subscribe. We would love, love, love to be a part of your you know, viewing journey. When if you're coming to San Antonio to visit, to live, to sell, to buy, to eat, to shop, to do whatever, let us know. And guys, you have to make sure that we take care of the number one, El Mero Mero, Irasmo. Irasmo. Irasmo, the best waiter. Numero uno. Hands down at El Mira Sol. Yeah, ask for him, eat a small. Tell him the twin sent you. Thanks for watching, El Mira Sol, best Mexican restaurant in Stone, Stone Oak. Oak.